The death of Tyree Nichols from Memphis police violent traffic stop has led to renewed calls for change in policing and not just in Memphis but really across the nation and that was a focus for so many of the protests that we saw throughout the weekend in Memphis and in other cities. Now many of those calls are reaching Congress. Washington DC correspondent Hannah Brandt joining us now live from the nation's capital with what our lawmakers are planning to do. Rochelle, good evening. This certainly isn't the first time that lawmakers have discussed federal policing reform. It also happened after the murder of George Floyd, but those efforts were unsuccessful. So advocates are hopeful this time is different. The death of Tyree Nichols has reignited calls to tackle police reform. I think we should do it right now. We should have done it before. President Biden says he wants to see Congress pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, which would prohibit racial profiling, ban chokeholds and no-knock warrants, and make it easier to charge police officers. But the legislation didn't pass in the Senate after passing the House two years ago. All of us should agree we should eliminate bad policing wherever it exists, and that does require legislation. Congressman Stephen Horsford is the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, and he's leading a push to restart negotiations. We can come together to pass a bipartisan culture of policing law that is meaningful and that does things to keep our community safe. Republican Senator John Cornyn points out Congress did pass legislation to better train officers on de-escalation. Police need to learn how to bring the temperature down and not result in ever increasing violence. And he isn't shutting the door on further action. I'm happy to listen to other ideas. And the Congressional Black Caucus says President Biden did agree to meet with them. They're hoping to talk with him not only about legislation, but also about executive action that he could take in this area. Live in Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.